Now I saw this online and instantly fell in love with it. <laughs> Big stretch. I have another little tip for you, something that I wish I would have started doing at the beginning of my PhD. We've been doing breakfast sandwiches, making our own in the morning. Funding, stress about funding, funding sources is a big part of the PhD journey for a lot of people. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope that you are well. We are getting ready to take Little Miss Fran to the vet. I am wearing this super cool patchwork jacket that I wanted to share and I figured I might as well do a quick little mini Target haul because I picked a few things up from Target recently. This is one of them. This is part of their Black History Month collection. I saw this online and instantly fell in love with it. The ad, they had both a guy and a girl wearing the jacket and I knew I had to have it. I am so impressed with the quality of this. So I am wearing an extra small. Let me see. Maybe I can put you. I'm wearing an extra small. It's nice and oversized on me. I do have the sleeves rolled up. I'm a bit short. I'm like 5'4 on a good day. So that gives you a little bit of an idea. I just absolutely love it. It is such good quality and so warm. I have it on with a turtleneck from Gap Factory. And then a couple of other quick things. So the other day when we took Franny to get groomed at PetSmart, I saw these jeans in store and I had been wanting to find these because I was initially going to order them online, but at the time they weren't available to. They are the 90s baggy relaxed hip and thigh, baggy leg, 100% cotton on stretch. Absolutely love the color. I feel like it's so unique. They remind me of like a pair of Levi's or something like that. And what's really cool too is the fly. It is a button fly and the color matches the pants, which I thought was super cool. The only problem is that they're way too big for me. I got the zero regular and I am kind of going through a little bit of an unintentional weight loss situation right now. I think just with all the stress I've gone through over the past year. So I'm kind of in between sizes. It's kind of hard to know. So I can't really say if they do or don't run true to size. It says that they're that like relaxed fit. So I guess you can expect them to be a bit bigger. I'm going to try ordering the double zero online. It's available now and see if those are better. But I thought I would share them because I think they're super cool. <laughs> I also recently picked up this little tank top from Target. It was $8. I got it in an extra small. I loved this white mixed with the black. I felt like it was super chic and just gave it a little extra something. I always pick up a couple of these in the spring and summer months. They're just great basics to have in your collection. And I thought that it would pair nicely with these skirts that I grabbed. So I saw these online too. They are 100% cotton, I believe, and it's just this simple black skirt. I went with the extra small. I probably could have sized up to a small if I wanted it to hang a little bit lower on my hips. The extra small is kind of a nice high-waisted look, and it does have this tie and an elastic waistband that stretches a little bit. So I grabbed it in the black because that's kind of like my go-to in spring through fall. I love a black dress or a black skirt. And I initially saw it in this print, which is what I fell in love with. It's this nice kind of creamy white. And then it has this mix of black and kind of like watercolor blue and sort of brown and yellow print to it. I just thought that was beautiful. I think they have a shirt too, like maybe a puff sleeve or something that goes with this. So you could kind of turn it into more of like a formal looking outfit. I think it would be so nice for different spring and summer holidays, baby showers, anything like that. I think that this tank top will be really nice with both of these to kind of bring it together as a look. And then the last thing that I recently picked up, also a black item, I saw that they had a bunch of these... What do you call this? All I can think of is like a leotard right now, but 
like a bodysuit. So it's a long leg bodysuit. This one has the one shoulder and then one little strap here also that you can throw over. And then it does have a cutout on the side. The material is incredibly soft. It feels very high quality. This is from the Joy Lab brand. I initially ordered this in the extra small and it did fit, but I just felt like it was a little bit too forming so if you are doing like a high intensity workout or something maybe you would want that but it was just it felt a little tight like in some areas around my arms and things like that so i went ahead and got this small tried it on this morning and it's a lot more comfortable i would love to throw this on with just like a jean jacket when it's a little bit warmer a pair of tennis shoes to go for a walk you could also definitely dress it up and put it on with like a little pair of wedges or something like that maybe like a nice cotton or linen overshirt just a good little funky basic to have in the closet that is definitely multi-purpose. So that is my little Target haul. I would say of everything that I got, this jacket is definitely my favorite. I'll be sure to list everything down below in the description. We are going to head on out to take Miss Franny to the vet and I will check back in with you all in a bit. <laughs> Big stretch. Good morning, everyone. It is almost 11.30. I just got out of a meeting, I guess, maybe about an hour ago with one of my advisors talking about some IRB stuff. I'm going to be putting in a minor modification for my dissertation studies. And we got on the topic of participant numbers. I have another little tip for you, something that I wish I would have started doing at the beginning of my PhD. Now I have that perspective because I am in the final year of my PhD. So I thought I would share with you because a few of you were interested in the R tips that I shared in a previous vlog. So I thought maybe this is a little something that we can sprinkle in when I think of it. So oftentimes in the research that I do, we will have multiple studies or experiments whatever you want to say that fall under the same IRB umbrella. The IRB stands for the Institutional Review Board and basically when we want to do research in my case with human participants we have to outline in detail what it is that we're planning to do and then this has to be reviewed by a board and approved so that they can ensure that no one is going to be harmed in the research and it falls under the guidelines that it should. That's a kind of a simplistic way of putting it. So for us, for instance, we might have an IRB that has 800 or more participants in total that fall under it because of the different studies. Whenever you want to change something about your study protocol, you have to put in a modification, let them know, and then again, you have to get that approved. Fortunately, much of the research that I am doing is exempt, so it helps ease the process a little bit, but I still have to go through the necessary channels. So that's what I've been working on. In doing so, I've realized that over the past five years, I have conducted many studies with many participants, and I never actually created a table where I outlined each of the studies what their purposes are, and then how many participants we ended up recruiting and collecting data from in each of those studies. Oftentimes when we're thinking about participant numbers, we just think about how many participants were left over after we finished collecting the data, cleaning the data, removing outliers, so on and so forth. But when we're thinking about how many participants we're actually collecting data from, that's kind of a separate issue that pertains more directly to our IRB protocol. So I am currently creating a table that does outline all the studies I have conducted that fall underneath this one IRB umbrella, how many participants we collected the data from, what the purpose of the studies were. I'm also including media in my tables so whether it's in person or virtual because I do both and then I am putting that into a folder where I also have the finalized data sheets from each of those studies so that again we can look back at it I'm going to throw in information about the participants that we ended up excluding and why because I always track that information on a separate excel as well and now it will all have one home be in one place as compared to only having these studies divided across different files and folders 
in their own little areas. So I hope that makes sense. I'm pretty tired right now, but I just wanted to give you that tip. Hope that that's helpful. I'm going to see what more I can achieve here between now and lunchtime. We are, I would say 10 out of 10 sleep deprived at this point. It's good. You like that? Mm-hmm. It's like a texture? No. Me neither. It's a little too cakey. Mm-hmm. But. Flavor's good. Let's <laughs> get her home to take a nap. Yeah. <clears throat> it's nap time. Will you do this? Okay. Not bad. I do like the it's cherries. It's very cordial. Yeah. That part is good. I am recording on my phone right now because I'm too exhausted to even grab the camera. We just got back from running some errands and we stopped into this little farm place, the name of which I can't think of at the moment, and grabbed a couple of random things. So I'm gonna show you what we got. Okay, so we've been doing breakfast sandwiches, making our own in the morning, and we got these English muffins. We usually get these sprouted ones from the frozen section at the grocery store, but we wanted to treat ourselves this week. So we grabbed these, and then to make things easy, we also got this pre-cooked breakfast sausage. This past week, we did bacon, changing it this week. Again, something easy for ourselves. Some fresh oregano because I'm going to make a Valentine's Day recipe that requires that. Grab these cookies. I believe I showed you these in the car. Like chocolate chip with maraschino cherries. And then I loved their kind of like bagged salad. And this is the best dressing ever. When I got together with Sam, this is what his family would use. And we had the hardest time finding it out here in Boston. We looked everywhere for it. And then one day we were at this place and finally saw it. So those are the groceries. Sam is outside with Franny right now. We're going to take her on a walk together and then head out for some more errands. I have done an awful job at vlogging this weekend. We are waiting for our pizza. Today is Super Bowl Sunday actually, and we have just been doing things around the house all day. Sam had continuing education CE course he had to do this morning remotely. And then we went grocery shopping and decided let's just get a pizza and some salad and have that tonight. So that's what we're doing. It's been a really good day for everyone. I'm gonna go home, maybe do a little bit more cleaning around the house and hang out and watch the Super Bowl together. I also wanted to say that I'm wearing this sweater again that I've worn in my past two vlogs. It's the best sweater ever. It's from Gap Factory. I will link it down below in the description, but such a good sweater. I think I'm gonna say small, it's pretty oversized. So I will link that. Today is a snow day. It is around 1 p.m. Sam just headed in for work. He just has a half day today because of the storm, all of his morning patients canceled. So he decided to go in around lunchtime and it's kind of ironic because they were predicting that this was gonna be a huge nor'easter. And then as the hours went on, they pushed back the start time of the storm. And so it didn't really start snowing until about an hour or two ago. So ironically, he's now driving in <laughs> during the snowstorm, but it doesn't seem like it's too bad of a storm after all. I'm sorry it's so dark, by the way. I have all of the blinds open, but just because of the storm. Let me see if I can turn up this light anymore, if it's all the way. Yeah, it's all the way. It's just so dark because of the storm, so you'll just have to bear with me. Granny is resting, and mom gets a little moment to herself, which is a little bit harder to come by these days. I got this PR package in from Kiehl's, and I'm really excited. I have no idea what it is. I bought it in yesterday, but I thought I would wait and open it with you all, and we could kind of experience the excitement together. I also thought I could give you a few updates. So, before we open the package, I know in my last vlog, we had just 
Scott and Franny and I shared some of the challenges that we were facing. She has made incredible improvements since then. It was as if the evening of day 10, like a light switch went off and she's been completely different since. A lot more sociable, walking around the house, super curious. So we're starting to get to see a little bit more of that side of her personality. We did take her to the vet, which you saw earlier in this vlog, which was extremely informative. We're treating her for various health ailments, which are all treatable, so we're thankful for that. And I think that has definitely helped as well with how she's feeling and her personality. And the vet also let us know that she's probably closer to two years old than six months, which is what we had initially been told. It does make a little bit more sense in some ways. A nice part of that means that she's fully grown. It has been an adjustment. Each day has challenging moments, but I've received so much support from others who have adopted and rescued a dog and just a lot of encouraging words and it's helped me to feel normal about the fact that there are challenging moments but I'm doing my best and yeah she's just such a sweetheart. This week I've spent most of my time putting together a little grant application. I received word that I needed to seek out external funding for this summer so i am applying for a little in-house grant through my school the biggest challenge has been cutting down my dissertation proposal to less than 5,000 characters with spaces so that took a really long time spent most of the day doing that yesterday funding stress about funding funding sources is a big part of the phd journey for a lot of people so i'm going to open this package with you and then i'm going to see what i I can do as far as working on my dissertation today I'm almost finished programming experiment one I'm really now focusing on like more of the logistical stuff like the pre-screening questionnaires that participants complete as soon as they're brought over to gorilla from prolific so I am collecting my dissertation data remotely over prolific and then it's being hosted on gorilla kitchen knife Yay! Oh my gosh, so cute. In a situation ship with my skincare routine. <laughs> so we have the creme de corps, which I've heard amazing things about and have always wanted to try. We have the creamy eye treatment. And then, oh my gosh, yes, the butter mask for lips. I have used this in the past. This is absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. That is so exciting. Oh, and is there stuff in here too? There is. Okay, let me open this up. Let's see what is in here. We have the Midnight Recovery Concentrate, a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils, and distilled botanicals for radiant, younger-looking skin by morning. And then lastly, ooh, this is a pretty bottle. Look at this. How beautiful is that? So pretty. Our original musk oil is believed to have been created in the 1920s at the Keele Apothecary. Discovered there in a vat labeled Love Oil in the late 50s, Keele's signature scent was reintroduced to our patrons in 1963. That was the year my parents were born. Okay, do you think it pulls off? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get a shot. Ooh, fascinating. It's like a perfume. It smells like very clean. It reminds me of something my mom would have worn back in the day, like her original Ralph Lauren perfume. It's just a good classic scent. I feel like this could be good for anyone too, like gender neutral. Yum, how sweet is that? I will let you know what I think about some of these newer things that I haven't tried, but like I said, I've definitely tried that lip mask and I know I absolutely love it. And I'm really enjoying a new scent, that's exciting. All right, I'm having my tea, I am at the computer, I am working on lacing together my experiment tree on Gorilla. Once I do this, I need to work on randomization and then that should be it. I'll be ready to start piloting and moving forward with collecting data for experiment one. My goal is to start data collection on this experiment by March. I am going to end this vlog here. I wanna say thank you all for being here, following along and for your continued support. I hope that you've enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next one. Cheers. Thank <music> you.